All the areas are connected around a central hub like Dark Souls. I can't unsee it. So yeah, uh, literally Dark Souls. Uh, Vadi yeah. video, semen lore video coming soon. All right. <clears throat> so about, I think, eight or nine months ago, Seth released a video on illegitimate offspring. One of those many uh, kink games that he... Well, they are not always kink games, but like uh, adult rated games that he tends to review that shook me just a little bit. And it's not because of the content itself, but simply because the way that he tends to depict things still takes me aback a bit. But I must commend him for that video because it ended on a very wholesome note. But what was even more awesome about it was that he actually managed to get sponsorships through it. It, it was incredible. Like, this man's ability of getting sponsorships on even the most unhinged content is truly a marvel to behold. But today we have a review on Breeders of Nephilim. Now, I, I don't know what this game is, but I can already guess what it is since it has a cow there. I'm imagining that it's something very related, but just for the sake of it. And yes, I've been nerding the fuck out of Baldur's Gate 3, but uh, don't mind that. Um, <laughs> We're gonna check the store real quick. Uh, Breeders of Nephilim. It's free. Oh my oh. god! My god. Like, ass is the first thing you see. Seth, my guy. <laughs> he's not a level of temperance. Okay, so much like the Heroes of Might and Magic uh, video, I guess that uh, the censorship is going to be exquisite in this one. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. This is a serious video, as I want to be taken seriously as a creator. More than just a gamer. Hey. Hard R. But a speedrunner. To this end, I'll be speedrunning Breeders of Nephilim. Hold on, buddy. Uh, we need to track that back. Gamer. Hard R. But a speedrunner. Something that you obviously couldn't see despite the uh, made pyro cynical. What the hell? What was he doing there? Uh, is the extra tail? This thing right here is... Well, if, if for anybody who's ever dated somebody with a heavy flow, or the type of girl who would drag you by the hand, sit you in front of a table and pull out a tampon and drop you down a bottle to show you that uh, there's no way that this little thing can take away all of the byproduct of the monthly curse because yeah this is kind of like a regulator uh, for estrogen yeah heavy cycles i'll be speedrunning breeders of nephilim because nobody has because nobody cares which means this is my one and only shot at hitting a world record this is an any percent speedrun which i have defined as completing all the quests to obtain all the keystones to unlock all the cock block gates once i've done this i consider the speedrun complete along the way i'll explain the mechanics of this open world insemination rpg and my methodology for speedrunning the game excuse me but open world insemination rpg kind of sounds based <laughs> It's ridiculous, but based. I begin the run and start a new game. Naturally, I pick my breeder's gender, and I choose Futa. You might think this has something to do with the ability to oh. get pregnant and make others pregnant, but- The return of the Ben 10. Big game cover. It's a classic. It'll never disappear. No, it's actually because objectives are tied to gender, and I get the best oh. options by being a woman that's packing extra heat. We ignore Feline and Fern, they're very useless. You may notice that I'm jumping a lot, which is faster than shift sprint. At this competitive level, I can comfortably do a mid-air 360 between each jump. Also, I'm going to have to censor every instance of nudity, which is going to be a lot. If it's too much, I'm going to start censoring with uh, Subway Surfers and Fortnite. <laughs> this is all to prevent dopamine deprivation for my zoomy audience. Audience. If your receptors are not oh, saturated God. by the end of this, I have failed as a content creator. But before we continue, ya boy gotta make his bag. Ad time, my <laughs> nephew. I almost didn't notice in the beginning there was the uh, label there. Sponsored content. Man, he did it again. How? Whose birthday was last week. You know what his mother bought him? Battlefield. I made Ew. sure to personally remind her that an even better game exists. For Warpath and Metal Slug Free Collaboration explodes the mission of Battlefield. Warpath is a real-time strategy game with what real maps, tank? real weapons, and really action-packed gameplay. The battle situation will oh, change as your strategy awesome. changes. Missing. So you need to form your troops strategically and use your weapons to their advantage. 
Exciting news is that now we have Marco Rossi and Eric hey. Casimoto, two popular characters from Metal Slug Free, to join the battlefield. Eric Casimoto could provide higher damage and defense values for the troops, but personally, I like Marco Rossi more. Just look at that charming smile, those hacking skills, and of course, his 18% damage boost. But the choice is yours. Join oh, the in-game event to win these officers for free. Warpath also has a weapon system that contains all the well-known weapons, such as the Tiger Tanks and the Katyusha Artillery. And now, with a collaboration, you can even use a special unit skin. SV-001, the beloved Metal Slug Free Super Vehicle. We're yeah. on the Warpath, and you're coming along. Just follow my link, and together, we shall reclaim the Mandate of Heaven. You can also click the event page link to participate in the special event. Choose your favorite character, join their camp, and win cash and sweet rewards. We run to town, carefully avoiding the fountain so we don't oh get surprised. Surprised is the synonym I'm using for assault of a graphic nature. Bit Immediately, we bang Cassie so she repairs a lever. We start Hot. with 1,700 orgasium. Enough money for the fox in house and the... Hold on. Why is this surprising? Did everything is sex operated, and not only that. We start with 1700 orgasia. <laughs> is it? Oh god, I was about to say, like, is it something akin to, like, uh, professions in, like, World of Warcraft? Where you need to like craft these mithril goggles. Let me send you over to Winter Spring and gather all the mithril. I don't, in this case, then orgasm. But it is uh, the main currency used within the game. You start the game with 1700s. And Camilla. What? <laughs> um, Camilla. Seaman. Uh, Amber, Milk, and Cassie Barnes all use orgasm for currency. Jesus Christ. <laughs> A completing breeding task. Oh, okay. Oh god, this sounds like a Patreon-sponsored game of debauchery, <laughs> and I'm kind of glad that it made it to Steam. Enough money for the Fox and House and the Volwar Kennel, leaving us with 900. Amber May sells milk. Camilla sells semen. We buy the following quantities of milk and semen: 150 ml okay. Foxen and Bovor milk, 110 ml <laughs> Titan and Volwar semen. In retrospect, I fucked up my math and had too little wolf semen, a recurring problem in my life, but it worked out in the end. We go upstairs, pull the lever, and save reset. Saving and loading takes you back to the farm, which is quicker than walking. Now, most players will go to the sewers and meet the Mega Slime, copulate with her and take her keystone. However, this makes her what cry and she'll never talk to you again, so I don't consider it a proper speed run. Dark soul of sex. <laughs> Need to head out to the sewers. The abomination down there. Don't bang it. <laughs> Always starts crying. Uh, that, that actually sounds kind of awful. Yeah. It's like, it's like jab. I beg your pardon. It's like Japanese actresses are pretty hot, okay? But they are also so fucking sad. So I don't really understand how that is it is a popular genre because I couldn't bear watching it. I no. It just looks so sad. Instead, we go to Cabell, the Feuda Centaur that's guarding the Virgin Breaks cockblock gate. We oh, copulate, no. she gives us a quest. Quests are special breeding tasks composed of a gender, a trait, and a level requirement you need to satisfy to turn them in. Cabell <laughs> needs a level 4 Volwark Feuda with a meaty trait, so we run to Lustwood to get our wolf. To consider Lustwood. this a proper speedrun, surprise mechanics are turned on. This a hey, it's surprise Mandalore, it's always nice. Adds an element of skill and danger, as at any time, if I lose focus for even a split second, I will be copulated and I will get pregnant. Surprise mechanics work like this. If a Nephilim has so locked onto your character, they're going to surprise you. This is a particular problem because over time, several of them are locked in and homing on your position. The only way to shake them off is by quickly hitting the interact key on a random target. The rest will stand idle, realize they have no target, and lock on to something else. The oh, uh, yeah, ne Nephilims. Of course, it comes with the name. It's also freaking biblical, like Genesis 6-4. Virgil, in search of creatures, assumed to be giants. The best metaphor I can give for this is, uh, imagine a convention where 
where the only attendants are YouTubers. You're surrounded oh. by an ocean of penis waiting to pounce. To quote Flowey from Undertale, in this world, it's groomer be groomed. There's two methods <laughs> of capturing Nephilim. One, you have a surprise encounter and compare stats to the Nephilim. If you I'm sorry, I will never, never play through that fight in Undertale the same way again. Oh no. Oh no. It's now branded in my mind. And especially with Flowey's final form, with that evil grin it has. <laughs> it's groomed or be groomed. <laughs> Seth, what have you done? You win three out of five categories, you can capture them. However, this is incredibly slow. Two, you give them fluids. This requires you to memorize the exact fluid preference for each gender of each racial subtype. Luckily, I have it printed out. If I get dementia, I may forget my own name. But rest assured, I will never forget these fluid dynamics. Your five male semen or 15 male milk gives us an instant barn animal. Males take milk, females and feudas take semen. However, there's nothing stopping you from giving the wrong fluid, which uh, I find really amusing. Yo, who me. Uh -huh. uh, try this. What is it? Come. I get to Lustwood, <laughs> the Vulwarg and Foxen start spawning. I'm so high on the spectrum. I can even spot the right variant I need from a distance because <laughs> he thinks he's Christian. <laughs> Christ, my heart is yours. You don't say. <laughs> let's, let's roll it back a bit. Spectrum. I can even spot the right variant I need from a distance because it has a muscular phenotype. But if it doesn't spawn, I have to make it. The oh Listen, I'm not a fairy. But I beg you not to finish that sentence. <laughs> But, never listen to me. I'm about to say some dumb shit right now, but seriously, there's something to be appreciated about artists who create muscular female character, and that is independent of them being human or not. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, stay calm. everyone? I said it. Clip it if you want. I said it. Only way to do that is by capturing more of them, which causes more to spawn. But I have to be fast because everyone in the map starts copulating. This oh. slows me down because I can't interact with them until they're done. Also, the characters start moaning, which means the only way to avoid age restricting this video is to scream over them. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I focus Yo, wolves this until I get my meaty futa. Then I cap foxes until I get a swift futa. My fluid purchases were non-random. Males make one third of all spawns. The rest are futa and females. From that distribution, I split my funds to maximize my chance of landing the correct variant. Also, we can't do commercial breeding until we learn doggy from Paws Maddie. As this game assumes the player to be a self-insert. That is to say, a drooling retard. Save reset, we got a wolf that needs leveling. Leveling is done by raw dogging until we get enough experience. How much we can yeah. raw dog is determined by lust, which drains with use, increases with level, and resets each time we sleep. Much like fight or flight, this game is a cycle between raw dog and rest, which is what we're going to be doing most of the time. Along the way, I make use of my cattle, milking and draining them all until I hit my fluid maximum. This is how we earn money in this game. This is what bankers call liquidity. I I'm sorry. I am even more impressed by the different images that he uses to censor things. <laughs> what the fuck was that with Jihadi and Evangelion there in the bottom? Your stuff will oh. Shinji, <laughs> get into the Humvee. <laughs> I turn in the quest, grab my keystone, head back to town, and start selling my fluids. Man, I must be on estrogen, because my racks keep growing. <laughs> I now have enough money to buy a Bovor shit and a free A hive. However, I fucked up. I cycled oh. too many days without keeping track. And unfortunately, Cassie was today's daily toy, which means I can't trade with her. I've lost precious time because now I have to save reset and pass a day, and my chances of hitting world first are slipping through my hands. <laughs> Panicking, I took my Dragon Ball Z Dende perk and felt immediate relief. On the plus side, I got a fresh harvest, which I could sell to afford the previous sheds, the Titan Cave, the Dragon Horde, 150 ml Titan Milk, 100 ml Harpy Semen, and 200 ml Demon Semen. I use my keystone to open pleasure pastures and bang Monarch, who asks for a swift foxen. In the same area, I bang Autumn and get a request for a Hornball Free Ace. Before Central leaving, tree. I capture a bunch of Bovors for their milk. Also, I got ambushed by tentacles, because I was already mid-jump and fell right into it. Save reset. I already had the fox in she wants, so I turn in Monarch's request. Or so I thought. Turns out she wanted a swift male, which I don't have 
because I didn't plan for this. Because it was was meant to be a futa. Because it's always been a futa. But the one time it matters, she changes her mind. So, back to lust would I go. I use her keystone to open the hivelands, suck on the queen bee's titties, get a quest to restore (laughs) the hivelands, and start catching a bunch of bees. Uh, uh, um, small problem. Hornball has a very low chance of appearing in bees. We could crossbreed them with the other furries, but that's going to take a lot of time. There's no guarantee the offspring will be a bee, or that a single trait donor will pass for genetics. As stupid as it sounds, it's quicker to dice roll. I actually don't even check which traits they have. If I don't get a single hornball across 60 attempts, I'm just going to kill myself. Also, I was clicking so fast, I messed up and accidentally copulated three times in a row. 60. I don't know how... (laughs) Look, I commend this man for going through this script without (laughs) cracking up because I would have a half way of saying any of these. But he has to watch 60 of them animations. I don't know how long they last, but that's a lot. No! Oh. These animations are not only unskippable, but only one possibility. But- no! They lock up the whole game. Might as well just use the um, Blade Runner uh, 2049 Ryan Gosling here. <laughs> Sag. No, 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 I fucked up. I fucked up. If I get surprised, I can't even open the menu. Save reset, milk my cows, and check my bees for results. <laughs> Guess what? 60 bees. I'm on my knees, crying and shitting. Not a single hornball in sight. My wrists, I am slitting. All oh. right, um, time for plan B. Ignore Easy everything there. I said. We're going to crossbreed. At the risk of making this a tool-assisted run, yes, I have a macro script to release Nephilim from a barn with a single key. Because having to manually click the option, then manually confirm the option in a completely nice different part general. of the screen 40 times in a row is going to drive me insane. Surprisingly, the UI for a pornographic hentai game leaves much to be desired. Many, many breeding attempts later, we turn in our female hornball free I yank Autumn's keystone and ask her about restoring the hivelands. How are we going to do that? I'm glad you asked. With one liter of dragon semen, I take the keystone and open up virgin breaks, capture some dragons, and talk to the dragon matriarch. She wants three liters of bovar milk, which I already have. Save oh, no. reset, and I quickly play how to milk your dragon. I turn in both missions at the same time. I take the virgin break keystone, save reset, and take the Hivelands keystone. I walk up and open Sultry Plateau, run past, and open the Lude Desert. The reason we do this is fast travel. We gotta bang Warden Neela to access the Pussy Portal Network, which is- <laughs> I'm sorry. This thing has the the same, not just because of the aesthetic in the background, but it's like the same level of complexity as Anchorage. For anybody who's played World of Warcraft, you know what I'm talking about here. Oh my god, all of it to get past the pussy portal. It's so dumb! Pussy Portal Network, which is the actual name because the people who made this game are mentally stunted. This is an atypical cock block order, but saves us a great deal of backtracking. Purchases, town trips, and portal activations will no longer be mentioned, much like an SCP wiki article. Completely redacted, testicles obliterated, class Keter. I walk back and receive Petra's quest for a level 11 Futa Dragon with a new- By the way, guys, should I get into SCP? Because I- after watching Overlord, not animated, but tactical military film, fan-made film, I was thinking about getting into more SCP content. I think that most of what I've completed SCP with has been with that video game Control, because I just spent way too much time in that game. But yeah. If you'd like me to do that, uh, I'll be glad to. This is our second major roadblock. Let me explain. Certain traits in this game don't generate until you raise your world level, which is specific for each Nephilim. Basically, we need to make the gene pool stronger. We do that by releasing Nephilim into the wild. We need 1000 XP to hit world level 2. The amount of XP we get from releasing wild furries is insanely low. It'll take us anywhere from 60 to 100 releases. Why? Hold on. Are we about to see cross-breeding mathematics being done here in a hentai game? Okay. 
Let's let's go. Go through all that trouble when all you really need is just one. We capture several dragons and interbreed them. The goal is to produce a domestic female or futa offspring. Now, uh, time for some math. The value of releasing a Nephilim into the wild is calculated by their base stats multiplied by the number of modifiers. Their level plus one is a multiplier. Domestic is a three times multiplier, and being pregnant is two point five. For this is kind of like doing math for the best build in Baldur's Gate 3 when you need to take into account your modifiers and the chance of them rolling exactly the way that you want them to. So, I kind of get it. Multiplier <laughs> and being pregnant is 2.5. From this calculation, a single domestic level 26 dragon that's heavily pregnant will award us enough XP to instantly jump to world level 2. Finally, I use for everything I learned in school so I can speedrun a shitty porn game. Dragons share the same area as minotaurs. Each time I cap a dragon, there's a chance they won't be replaced. So if the area saturates with minotaurs, it's quicker to portal hop and reset the spawn. Oh, I God. slip up for a second and get surprised by a minotaur. I did what I had to to stay monetized. We good, we good, we good, we good, no! It takes a little bit, but I get my dragon and another keystone. Below Pleasure Pastures, I unlock the Cove of Rapture and bang Miru the Kraken, which opens a clam in the middle of the ocean that drops a giant pearl, which I take. I'm pretty sure navigating back to shore is impossible and I'm scared of water, so I reset. We trade the pearl with a mega slime and get a keystone, satisfying oh, my requirement why. of not making anyone cry. A Aside from the audience. Heading back, we <laughs> trace the shoreline until we reach the orc encampment. Bang Chieftain Xena, who asks for a level 9 Akabeko Feuda with a fertile trait. An Akabeko is a fox and bovor hybrid. Crossbreeding has a 40% chance of resulting in a hybrid, which still needs the correct trait and gender. Luckily, Buddy is talking about oversaturating our dopamine receptors, but I'm out here just laughing. I'm a man here doing a Gojo cosplay. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just it's just kind of funny. It's it's not because he's black, it's because of the body type. The 40% chance of resulting in a hybrid, which still needs the correct trait and gender. Luckily, female cow variants have ludicrous fertility, so it doesn't take very long to get the outcome and the keystone I need. We head back to the Cove of Rapture, find a Apophe Fessy, who's trapped in a tight gap because her ass is too big, and agree to bring her a Futa Titan to help dislodge her posterior from the cavern. What is this, Genshin Impact? I open the door to Climax Peak and get exactly that. The snake does unspeakable things to me, but I do get my keystone and open up Amorous Hallows. I fall on some web, get drained by Widow, and get my final quest. A oh. level 10 Futa Elf with a juicy trait. Anyway, I open the cockblock gate to Goblin Cave, which is also the path to reach the elves in Esoteric Glade. Normally, I would need to boost the world level to generate the juicy trait. However, while hunting for my nymph maniac dragon, I captured a bunch that already had the trait. So oh. instead, I capture some elves, crossbreed them with the juicy dragons, and sure enough, I get a juicy Futa elf. I raise it to 10 and turn in the quest. With that, I got my last keystone and opened the gate to Moaning Crags. At 3 hours, 11 minutes and 54 seconds, I have finished the run. I am, as of now, the current world record holder for speedrunning Breeders of Nephilim. Ever Woo! since I was radicalized by browsing slash r slash Asian masculinity, I realized I needed to leave my mark on this earth so that when I pass, I leave this world slightly worse off than it was before. Yep. Please yep. don't compete with me because I will lose. And now That is unequivocally the only way to play Baldur's Gate 3. Now for some words about the game itself. 10 out of 10, I hate it. Even without addressing the author's reluctance of adding balls to a futa, as if that oh. makes a hermaphrodite with a penis any less gay, there's clearly programming behind this, and I- That's absolutely criminal. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that supposed to be, man, when they don't have them? Like, why are you going to give them a, a slate underneath the dick? Oh, calm down, Jamal. Listen, I am channeling my inner degenerate right now, so don't pay it any mind, okay? <laughs> I respect the hustle. Also, once I realized that all the areas are connected around a central hub like Dark Souls, I can't unsee it. So yeah, uh, literally Dark Souls. Uh, body yeah. video, semen lore video coming soon. It's a good genetic simulator, and that's mainly the reason I play it. Any circulating pictures of my alleged Steam profile having over 100 hours playtime on this game is definitely photoshopped. This is why he went with a master's or 
What's his doctorate or master's in in, uh, in medical science? Otherwise, he's using his degree in the right way. If you're interested, it is free to play. Breeders of Nephilim is your quintessential pay monthly, Patreon-funded erotic game that will stay in perpetual early access. But hey, mm. uh, there's worse things you can spend your money on. As always, more content to come, Umfis, so stay tuned. A warm thanks Jeez. to the many members of the Merchants Guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. I would assume the Starfield is next, because that would be dope. But... Oh god, he went through... The, the whole thing to complete, to get a speed run done, and he actually achieved it. That's commendable, but also, I like how the most emotions that we've heard from Seth, besides when he tends to crack up to his own, uh, to his own script, is him freaking out about not being able to breed something in the right time. We are living in the best time possible. My god, this was delightful. I, in a way, I kind of appreciate um, people making reviews about this without them being like uh, depicted something disgusting and or just um, being made fun of completely because let's be totally honest we need to have a like a bit more mature consideration of how sex is depicted in video games like in the same way that I'm I'm, I'm right now I'm playing through Phantom Liberty um, the cyberpunk I actually went back uh, because I wanted to have my original build and completing a voodoo voodoo uh, voodoo boys quest to then jump into Phantom Liberty. But then you encounter a character like Fingers, the guy who has the receding uh, hairline of Asmund Gold. <laughs> That's very mean, but this is literally a meme that's perpetuated by Asmund's editor. At least it was some years ago. In his level, he has kind of like what Seth mentioned, an ocean of dicks. But it is really comical. But when we have things like, let's say, Baldur's Gate 3, right? Which, of course, is not all about sex, but it does occur. Those are taken much more seriously, as they should be. But maybe it's just me looking a bit too much into it. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. As always, please do go and subscribe to the man, the myth, the merchant guilds leader Seth in touch and as always if you like the video don't forget to give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next one bye